Hi guys, it's Lee from the Learn Search Engine Optimization blog. Today I'm going to speak to you about one of the new posts that I've just created, which is keyword research the correct way. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to develop this video, which is going to take you through each step. And I would also direct you back to the blog just to sort of catch up on any of the images uh, to give you some examples for the settings that you need to go by. This way I can spoon feed you every single small piece of valuable information along with showing you how to process on the video. So the next step you will see on this video is when I cut it in with the generated results I'm going to teach you how to pick out the golden keywords. Okay, thanks guys. Hi there guys, it's Lee from the Learn Search and Optimization blog again. This is the second part of the video and I've just literally cracked open the Market Samurai tool. As you can see I've actually already typed in the keyword. So as an example, as a keyword we're going to go with today is going to be beads and crystals. Now obviously you've got the chance to change over to your country if you choose to, but today we're going to go for the all countries and territories. Of course if you need to, you can change that. So all I've done is I've put the keyword in and I've basically hit start and then I'll go to the keyword research on the right hand side. Here is where you can obviously add alternative keywords to add to the actual overall results. So if you wanted to you could type in how to sell beads and crystals. This will just generate some more results. You also got the option of adding a um, keyword Google Keywords or account. So I've actually done that, but that's completely up to you. Second step will be to simply click on the generate keywords. What I'm going to do for the third part is I'm going to actually show you the settings that I currently use for the Marker Samurai. This is going to be perfect because it's going to give you an opportunity to actually use the exact same statistics that I use to put up the results. I've got many successful domains that I currently have ranked up reason being is because I actually put a lot of time into the keyword research before I even think about purchasing domains or optimizing for keywords. A lot of people make the mistake of going ahead and picking out the most searched for keywords and unfortunately that results in high SEO competition and then that results in then never ranking up which can be countless hours wasted due to developing websites all because they didn't take the time to actually work out the correct types of keyword results they should have. You know, which in, in all fairness to me is just madness. Anyway guys, this is the second part of the video. Now I'm going to end it and I'll open up for the third part with all the generated results. I'll speak to you soon guys. Hi there guys, it's Lee from the Learn Search Engine Optimization blog and welcome back to the third stage of the Keyword Research the Correct Way tutorial video. What I've done now is I've actually gone ahead and pretty much gathered up all the keyword results then I've gone ahead and clicked on the analyze keywords which has brought me through to this page which I then again clicked on the analyze keywords because you have to do that two times over all of this will be within the post on my blog which I'll direct you back to from the description in this video so anything you need to know will be on that post now what I'm going to explain to you first of all is the settings that I'm currently using and there's not too many of them so it's not going to take too long. First of all the organic with the total searches and the SEO traffic on based on the minimum I have the organic total searches as five. Five minimum. For the SEO traffic which is the SEOT which is the maximum potential daily clicks I have that as a minimum of ten. So all you have to do is edit those two numbers within that. The second part is the competition, the SEO competition, which I have set as a minimum of 75,000 because I um, wouldn't really want to sort of compete too much with that. But unfortunately, it doesn't always go to show on these types of stats, uh, unfortunately. Anyway, so based on the SEO competition, we'll usually try and hit between 75 maybe upwards or if anything lower then that's perfect so that gives you a bit of an idea so what I'll then do is I will actually go to the actual results themselves and I'll look straight away instantly on the right hand side so I'm always looking at the SEO competition which is the SEO C so on the right hand side 
I will always keep my eye out when I'm actually browsing down through looking at the results. What I will look out for is anything such as this, 68,000 here, look. That gives me an idea. So that's got 398 daily searches with the keyword, which is auntie's beads, which I'm guessing would be some type of popular beads that, you know, the beaders will uh, be going out to purchase. But yeah, that's pretty much what I do when actually locating keywords to optimize for and to use, in fact, in my domains. Because unfortunately, a lot of people will pick out something which has, you know, 145 searches here, and they won't even bother to check out the competition, which, as you can see, is sort of 1,770,000, which would just be ridiculous to compete against. Ideally, you want something with between 50,000 to 75,000 competition, because that way you're going to rank up in no time. Obviously, if you're going to be using keywords for your meta keywords for your posts and pages, you can use higher if needed but ideally you know it's always good to have a little look around I mean here we've got beads after beads I'm guessing that's probably a salesy name let's have another look I'm gonna keep going down so I always keep my out so here 50,000 700 beads baubles and jewels so that could be a keyword that you could optimize for you see so it's just literally really keeping an eye out for those types of stats once you put in the statistics in, in the top here in the settings, uh, you know, it's going to put up the types of results that you're going to need to optimize for anyway. So I hope that's given you a bit of an idea, you know, what to look out for. I will put the link for my blog in the description. So there you can just pretty much click on it and it will take you through. And it'll, I'll give you, you know, on the blog, on the post, it gives you all these types of uh, examples and information to go by anyway. So I hope that's given you something to use and go by, and uh, I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.